Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for January 20th, Monday morning. Uh, what a great day today. How about 60 for the high, but don't get used to it because we go back in the deep freeze tomorrow. Let's go in there and take a look. This is the water vapor satellite image around the nation early this morning. And uh, you can see how that trough is beginning to reform over the east, but today we'll be in good shape. We're starting off the day with temperatures uh, generally in the 40s. We'll expect a high around 60 today, and that's going to feel very, very nice. We've only hit 60 on two days this month, and this will be day three, and this will probably be the last day, so enjoy it. Temperatures around the nation this morning are uh, very cold over Canada. You can just kind of see how the, the floodgates are getting ready to spill open up there. On the watch warning map, we've got wind chill advisories up already for parts of the upper Midwest, much of Minnesota, Wisconsin, some of the adjacent states. Interesting to note, winter storm watches in effect around Washington, D.C. and Baltimore, where they're going to see some snow tomorrow as the cold air rushes in. But around here, no advisories. And we're going to be dry for a while. This is the uh, QPF through Saturday morning, basically showing nothing. And uh, uh, despite all the cold air coming in, uh, nothing significant expected. Somebody somewhere might see a snow flurry on one day or two, but the, even that's very unlikely. So let's take a look at modeling. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid at noon today. This is the 06Z run, and you can see that strong energy diving down across the Dakotas in Minnesota, and that's going to sharpen up the trough. But again, today will be absolutely gorgeous. Sunny with a high around 60. It's going to feel so good. If you need to do something outside, get it done today, because tomorrow it's back. There's your trough. Down below that, thickness values are plunging. Very strong north winds, 15 to 25 miles an hour going to be cold and you can see that uh, surface low around Cape Hatteras setting up a snow possibility for West Virginia, Washington DC, Baltimore, Northern Virginia, Delaware. Be a kind of an interesting forecast for our friends up there. Let's just look at the temperature plot for the next uh, uh, seven days coming off the uh, buff kit which is an analysis tool for model data. And you can see I've got the 40-degree and the 15-degree Fahrenheit line highlighted. And really, we're going to have a hard time getting above 40 for the rest of the week. Uh, we'll probably nudge above uh, 40 by, by the weekend as we warm up a little bit. But another surge of cold air doing here early next week. And a uh, whole bunch of mornings are going to be well down in the teens. And uh, again, uh, it might be colder than that on a couple of mornings. This is Wednesday. The uh, guidance has us in the upper teens at daybreak Wednesday. The GFS 18, the NAM 19, high in the upper 30s. And this is Thursday. Look at that big 1047 high coming down the pike over Nebraska. That's a 1047 millibar high, representing very, very cold air. Uh, again, not so sure we make it out of the uh, 30s on Thursday. And this is Friday. That high settles in toward uh, Little Rock and Memphis. The GFS is printing a low of 15 here Friday morning. And the high Friday afternoon, barely above freezing. Not so sure we make it above freezing. The guidance has a high of 35, and it tends to skew toward climatology days in advance. Uh, gut feeling, we stay below freezing all day Friday. Uh, these are some lows early Friday morning coming off the... Uh, uh, the, the European, it's got some single-digit lows. I'm seeing seven up there over DeKalb, Jackson, and Madison counties. And I think there's no doubt some of the colder pockets will see single-digit lows. I think, generally speaking, this won't be quite as cold as the air we saw earlier this month, but it's cold enough. Here's Saturday as we start the weekend. Now, during the day, we start to warm up a little bit. As thickness values come up, a chance we'll see 40s, but Saturday morning's going to be very cold. The uh, latest GFS is printing a low of 12 here at daybreak Saturday. But again, the high should be in the 40s. 
and this is Sunday, a chance we could see 50 Sunday afternoons. So uh, finally, we'll be out of the deep freeze a little bit by Sunday. We note little disturbance down in the Gulf, and that precipitation will likely stay down to the uh, south of here. But look at the upper air pattern. This is the uh, weekend flow at 500 millibars. And, uh, man, that is that is brutally cold over eastern Canada and the northeast United States. That is tough stuff. Um, and, no, I'm not going to say it because the polar vortex exists every day of the year. You know, the media hype is, is absurd. They want you to think that this thing is something like a tornado or something you can see or it's something that's never existed before. But uh, that's what that is. It's very cold over the eastern U.S. And this is Monday, a week from uh, week from today. Looks like thickness values come down a little bit again as another surge of cold air drops in here. So highs go back in the 40s and lows go, go back at least in the 20s. Uh, these are anomalies Monday. It's still very cold for the eastern U.S. And Interesting to know, of course, you know, anytime you've got a high amplitude pattern, that means it's going to be very cold in places, very warm in places. Look at the warmth out west, uh, Denver, and, uh, you know, they'll be nice and warm out there, and uh, even the Dakotas, the, the western half of the Dakotas. We'll check the end of the forecast. This is February the 4th. Got a trough west of the state, and that looks awfully wet in advance of a front that could bring more cold air. Uh, so we'll just have to wait and see. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.